So, I was scrolling through some YouTube shorts and I came across this video made with Blender and I really liked it, so I tried to make something similar with Prisma 3D using my mobile phone. And to start off, I went ahead to download a car model because making one of my own will take far too long and the site I used for this was Sketchfar. And after downloading the model in GLTF format, I went ahead into the archiver to extract the model and import it into Prisma 3D. It was looking alright but after adding in some textures, it was looking far better. Still, the model wasn't complete as I need the tires to actually rotate. Luckily for me, the tires of this model were detachable so I placed the bone at the middle of the tire and parented both tires on both sides to that bone. After that, I went over to delete the back tires and replace it with a copy of the front tires. Then I switched up the car color and started building a simplified scene to work with. And so my roads doesn't have that annoying stretch texture error, I used the mirror tool to duplicate it a few times. And then it was finally time to actually animate this. And all you have to do is to take the object where you want it to be then click the keyframe button. And what we have at the bottom of the screen is a timeline and in this timeline we are going to go 30 frames ahead then reposition our car and hit the keyframe button and then we'll impose the camera from the preset tab and the moment you click the jump in button bear in mind that your screen is now in sync with the camera now we can jump back to frame 0 and reposition the screen. Once we get the required camera angle, we hit the keyframe button, jump back to frame 30 and then change the camera position and once we have a nice camera angle, we can then hit the keyframe button. And once you hit the play button, the app will fill in all the in-between spaces for you. And then all you have to do is to work on your timing a little bit and change the car position as you progress along the timeline. Prisma 3D is a little short on animation tool so that is technically all you need to know. Then we have shadow text textures which is the perfect substitute for Prisma 3D's bad lighting system and if done properly it should give the illusion of soft shadows. And then we animated the tires to rotate using that same process and now we have a nice base animation to build from. And then I modeled in the sidewalk using a textured cube and I expanded it using the same mirror technique to avoid the stretching effect. After creating a copy of my shadow texture, I applied this to the sidewalks to make it look more involved into the scene. Then I changed up the light color to make the scene actually blend together and we had a nice animation going. Then I did the only logical thing which was to add some buildings which I also downloaded from Sketchfab and it was at this point we started getting some performance issues with the app. The lag was really annoying and that is when I noticed I was missing out a major area of my scene and I knew adding in any more models will actually crash this app. So I decided to do something a little tricky with this, so every time my camera passed the building, I would just take the building to the front to make the scene look longer than it actually is. Then I animated the other sides to also play along with this little trick. After this, I added in the skybox but I don't exactly have clip for this because my screen recorder actually crashed while I was doing it. 